regeneration. It's always a lot of me. Welcome to Doctor Who Locations Guide, Spearhead from Space. Now, all the locations are taking place in two different areas, in the Midlands and of course in London. So we are going to visit both places and see what we can find. Of course some of the places are private, however they are very entertaining towards us fans and will let us take photos with permission. So with that in mind, let's go and have a look at the first ever Third Doctor story, Spearhead from Space. And we're going to start here at Winsley Common. And it was here where the TARDIS landed first of all. Of course you have to pay for car park, but we're not quite sure whereabouts it was filmed the forest scenes, but we believe the, tar the, the, the actual TARDIS scene must have been around here there's a large open space just by the car park and the BBC crew had to be in the, the TARDIS cockpit, so we believe it was around here. What we've also filmed here was the forest scenes where Mr. Seely spots the Ultom sphere when it crashed out. Unfortunately, we don't know exactly where, but it'll be near the car park, so it'll be around here somewhere. If you cross the road from the car park, you'll reach the delivery back entrance where the delivery vans are come to the Royal Horticultural Society Gardens. And it was along this road, which has been newly developed, where the Alton attacks the unit truck and try and takes over and grabs the nesting, leaving the dead soldier in the top of the car. John Purton was being chased by the nesting people. Looking up towards the house was where John Purton was running away from the ambulance. And there were trees here which were now being cut down. This is where he jumped into the forest. We are now at the Wood Norton Hotel, which is also home to the BB part of the BBC. And this is where they film all the interior scenes for Spearhead from Space. And this, of course, is the Duke of Wellington bath. And John Pertwee was in here having a shower, hiding from the other doctors to escape. The door leading to the bathroom was where the doctor was going past, saw the sign entered. In the reception room, the stairs leading up to the bath was where all the reporters were trying to find out who the doctor was. Also in the reception area is this fireplace. This was the hospital waiting room. And this corridor leading up the stairs was where the brigadier was trying to find out about the nesting consciousness. Outside the back of the hotel is this balcony area. And it was here where the Brigadier and Munro were walking along talking about the next thing. We couldn't find the telephone corridor scene, but talking to staff members, they reckon it probably was demolished when they were renovating part of the hotel a few years back. We are now at Wilbarrow Castle Cottage, which is in Radford, near Evesham, and this was the location of Mr. Seeley's house. Looking back at the house, they've added a building extension to it and they've removed the shed where Mr. Seeley was hiding the Alton, but this is what the house at the back now looks like.
course it's private property, so you've got to ask first. But this was the field at the back where the Autumn was running away from the house after being shot at. We are now at Evesham Hotel and they've boarded up this door that was here. It was by this window where General Scobie was on the telephone. The front door here was where General Scobie opened it to find his Autuan replica. Of course they've put this box around the main entrance now. We are now on Midland Road, which is just outside King's Cross St Pancreas. And this was where Liz was driving along by unit to go to the headquarters. Slightly further down the road there's an opening, and that was where the unit headquarters was. The loading bay for the St Pancreas station was where the doctor drives in to visit the unit headquarters and it's now private property, so this is from the outside. As this is driving down the road, or Midland Road, this building behind me was seen but has been demolished and has now been replaced with this building. This is numbers 5 to 11 George's Road and behind me here was where the factory, Favourite Toys Limited, used to be. It has all been demolished since 1969 when they filmed it and has now been replaced with, these, with this building behind me. I do believe that there is a MOT garage at the end which is actually still part of the original building. We went in and asked but they had no idea about it so we don't know if it was filmed in that part or not but this is where it was. central London we are now in Madame Tussauds which is at Baker Street and it was here where the Waxwork Museum was. Of course they've changed it from American presidents to music but this is the main hall which is just after the Queen and all the royal family and this is where it was. There's this exit door and a column next to it, and this is where the doctor and this short hit from the uh, this and watch as when he entered the building. We are now at Ealing Broadway, looking across the Mark Suspensers across the road was the opening shot of a peaceful morning before the Old One invasion. Outside Marks and Spencers, this is where the Altons came out the windows. Looking the other way up the street is where the Altons come out the window. Along the side of Marks and Spencers is Lancaster Road, or what was Lancaster Road. There's now a brick wall built at the, in the middle of the street where it used to be, but this is where the police were heard the old tops around on the road. Walk past Lancaster Road and you hit Ealing High Street. Look back up where you've just walked. And this is where the man on the bike is walking past just before he gets shot by an auto. Also on Ealing High Street, the bus stop is still the bus stop where it was. The buildings nearest to the filming was actually being demolished and put in new shops. But there's white buildings that go around in the corner at the bottom there, which are still there from the original episode.
same bus stop looking the other way, this is where all the dead bodies were seen. We are now standing outside what is left of BBC Victoria Street, which used to be an old TCC condensers. If you come out of North Acton Underground Station, up the steps, it is directly in front of you. It was all demolished in 2010 and replaced by flats. In Spearhead from Space, this was where the plastic factory was and the unit soldiers were shooting at the autons. 